Attention please. This uploading is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles G. Pitchell. Follow us. The uplifted stallions now residing at the SPCA have been progressing well. But as a nearby mare comes into season, staff are worried their fences won't be enough to keep them from their object of desire. Today we're going to have the horses gelded, the two uh, entire males. We just had a few problems with them wanting to go through the fences and get to the females. And also they're fighting a lot more amongst themselves over the fence. And um, basically by gelding them, uh, we're going to take away that drive to want to do that. And they're uh, going to turn out to be much more nicer and more manageable horses. Well, we first give them a shot of sedative. And then um, we give them a shot of ketamine and diazepam for the actual general anaesthetic. It's promoted a bit of interest around the, uh, around the village, the removal of the horse's testicles. Not that we're all men-haters or anything here, that's not the case. Um, basically it's not something that people see very often. Uh, we don't have horses here a lot and when we do we very rarely have, uh, have colts or stallions here. In only 15 seconds the drugs take effect. So when he goes down obviously he's going to go down in a big thud. Now what we will do is we clip them up, we put a little bit of local anaesthetic into each testicle which takes away any pain. So it's just an iodine based antiseptic which we'll then just wash off with a bit of methylated spirits to clean up. It's quite a simple scrub. Um. The tool used for testicle removal is predictably a fearsome instrument. <laughs> <laughs> this will, in a period of about four to six weeks, so it does take a little bit of time for the hormones to dissipate out of the body. What it basically does is you're going to reduce any production of testosterone in the horse, which causes all the stallion-like behaviour. So he's going to be less aggressive, he's probably going to run around the paddock less. He will most likely put on weight a little bit better as well. Um, but most of that's behavioural and that he's not going to actually stress and worry about trying to compete for females. And that's really the big difference is really they just become more handleable, they become more settled, less aggressive. So when the drugs wear off, how's the horse going to feel? You'll know. You'll <laughs> <laughs> know. Well, he won't know exactly what's happened, but he'll be in a little bit of discomfort. Yeah, I mean, it does up. hurt a little bit as well. Yeah. Not just from the sheer fact that, you know, he's lost two testicles and his testosterone is going to drop, just the pain aspect of it. It does a bit sore. But the show's not over yet, as a second stallion gets the same treatment. When you take the testicles out, you leave a big dead space, and that's, if you sew it up, it's just going to fill up with fluid. So we actually, that's why we leave them open to help drain, so we're not going to get that side effect. As the crowd dissipates, it's not long before both horses are back on their feet. These guys will be a lot easier to rehome now that they're castrated, because very few people will have the skills and also the facilities to be able to handle them. Out front at the SPCA, a llama is undergoing a rather unusual test. Hey, come on, llama! Hello! Ready? Okay. Oh, good baby. Baby! An SPCA staff member is assessing the animal's suitability for the outreach pet therapy program. This new initiative involves volunteers taking their pets to rest homes and private hospitals. So how will he cope if I bump him from behind you? Not a problem. Not a problem. Oh, good boy. That wasn't too bad, was it? The next stage of assessment for Anoki the Lama and his owner Anne is a trip to a mock hospital at St John's. It's here the Lama will get to meet people in situations similar to ones he'll encounter if he's accepted for the pet therapy program. <laughs> Today's the second part of the assessment that we do on the animals. Today's basically a more crowded environment. Basically we're trying to recreate a rest home situation without actually putting the dogs straight into a rest home for health and safety reasons obviously. Um, so we're seeing how they're interacting with other people, interacting with other dogs. Llamas are very strong. A human could never win in a battle of wills with a llama, so it's important they're well trained. This is the first llama I've done, 
and its coat, it's actually surprised me. It's just an amazing animal and it's just done remarkably well. It doesn't seem phased by anything whatsoever and I'm sure it's going to give a lot of people a lot of enjoyment. It's had a big day. Yeah. Anoki's been granted his certificate to enter the pet therapy program. He's got a few assignments over the next week, starting with a visit to a rest home. Tristan. Who we got here? Tristan's arrived back at the animal village with the four dogs retrieved from the property in South Auckland. Yeah, looking at a possible prosecution um, with regard to their weight. To be skinny, eh? Yeah. You can feel the ribs are really prominent and the hip bones here are really prominent as well. So um, not putting on the weight that it should. Probably just mm. inadequate nutrition, mm. but it could mm. be due to um, things like um, worming, if they haven't been wormed. I wormed them about a week and a half ago when I was at the property, mm. okay. just to see if they mm. were going to put some weight on, but they haven't. So they definitely haven't. Need food to grow, really, and they're just not getting it. We've already got an indication from the vet suggesting that it is simply um, a lack of nutrition and inadequate feeding as opposed to a medical condition which has caused the thinness of the dogs. Basically we'll put them on a, a feeding regime um, and weigh them at the end of each week. Then once the dogs come up to weight we will then get a, a final vet report done just so that we've got an expert opinion that concludes um, basically simple feeding equates to a healthy normal dog. Out on the road, Anoki the Lama and his owner Anne have an appointment at a rest home. They've become part of the SPCA's volunteer pet therapy program. That means visiting rest homes like this one in Manurewa. The Lama is a welcome visitor here, and his owner Anne is proud to show off his friendly qualities. Meet Anoki. Anoki, bow. For one resident here, this is not her first meeting with a Lama. I love Lamas, I think they're lovely. Lived in Egypt and over the Middle East when I was young and grew up with llamas. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. You're beautiful. Yes, you are. You're beautiful. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Activities therapist Patty Lindsay is a firm believer in the benefits of pet therapy. Most of them have had pets in their home, and a lot of these people have had to leave their pets behind. Most of them have had children and have always had something to look after. So it's really lovely for them to have something that they can show some affection towards. It has a calming influence on them and it brings out that emotive side of them where they can hold something and touch something. Anoki, bow. Anoki, bow. Anoki's first assignment went well. Anne's very pleased. Well, mostly. It's just a little bit disappointed because they wanted him to bow. He didn't bow, and we had a perfect bow while I was brushing him this morning, but never mind. I'm, I'm really, really, really proud of him. I'm really so happy with him. He did so well. I think everybody enjoyed seeing him. Karen's final job for the day is delivering two of the rescued baby goats to a new home. They need feeding, like, every couple of hours, so they've had to stay in the back of my van the whole day, so we spend a bit of that time coming out every time we need feed in a park like this one. Come on, come on, come on. Get They do attach themselves to you, so they get used to your voice and your call. Come on. I think when you first start doing the job, you take them all home, and you know you've got 10, 11 animals at home, but that soon novelty wears off, so absolutely attached. But hopefully we have a really good home for these two out at uh, Kiwi Valley farm, which is at Medicine. Kiwi Valley is a petting farm that often becomes a refuge for baby animals rescued by the SPCA. Hi, Good, got these goats for you. Oh, wonderful. Here they are. Oh, gorgeous. Come on, Do guys. they have names yet? No, I didn't, I didn't know them. Okay. <laughs> Too attached. Oh, Come on, kids. <laughs> They're cute. Very relaxed. Them. Come on. Come here. So it's one girl and one boy? Yeah. You'll get to know them quite quickly. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Come on, sweetie. Okay, 
Oh, right, we'll go see your new home. Karen's found homes for all the 16 goats she rescued. At Kiwi Valley, Karen's sure the baby goats will provide a lot of enjoyment for many of the young children who visit here. I was a bit worried about that one. She's, okay. Um, hasn't been eating as well as this one. Maybe it's just a girl thing. Okay, that's cool. Well, what I might do is we'll just put them in here for now, and then later on I'll just take them home. There you go. They'll be all right. Hey, hello. You're a little bit worried about the little goat. Yeah, she's not too bad. She's just um, not drinking as well as... I think she was the, the smallest out of the 16. So okay. I, yeah, oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah. I always like the run. Well, I've got a little pig too, so I'm taking a little pig home and I'll have Brilliant. two little goats and I'll have a nice little family. See and you guys. can come and visit them too if you like. I will, definitely. <laughs> I'll miss them. Hey, you guys will be all right? Behave yourselves now. Oh, yeah. Hey. Good boy. Come here. Little fancy pants. Mm. Good luck. <laughs> Wonderful. <Sad. laughs> Karen's sorry to give up the baby goats, but in the end, she knows it's all part of the job. See you, kids. <laughs> Next week, a cat gets picked up on K Road. The llamas visited a rest home, now he's off to church. And a house full of cats is causing concern for the SPCA.